a few days ago I got my bus windows I ordered some that were 22 inches by 22 inches the metal that they're going to go into is a piece of sheet metal is 24 by 26 these are actually a little bit bigger than that these are 23 and a half on the outside the hole is 22 inches so it's gonna be a little bit weird and I'm sure I'm gonna have to cut some things and adapt some things but um, I'm working with what I got I cut a template I traced a hole out by out on the bus window area and I'm ready to go make a scary cut in the side of the bus and we'll see what we can do so I cut a big rough hole in my sheet metal in the backyard got sunlight coming in but uh, I suspect that I'm going to have to be refining this hole a bit all right so that's one window flushed into place it's not actually in yet because I haven't put the butyl tape on or anything else but uh, it's it fits it looks pretty good I was starting to lose faith in this project and now I think uh, I think it's going to work out today I am working on windows in the bus uh, you can see I've got two of them in already that big one came in a pack that I got for Christmas and uh, didn't really like they 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 fit exactly the size that I need but the trim goes out a little bit too far so when I tried to put it in in this space that has these little decorative flashing pieces the windows didn't fit and on this side where there's damage from before I got the bus where somebody kind of like rubbed up against a pole or a wall or something uh, the uh, windows wouldn't fit because they have to fit under this lip in order to uh, sit in place so I got smaller windows they came recently um, that one I'm gonna leave in because that's the only place where it fits and bigger is better in my opinion so here we're going to uh, just make basically I'm copying this system to this spot that spot and then in the bathroom there will be one more window so I'll show you how I'm doing that okay so each window comes with two pieces there's the outside piece that looks like that and then there's an inside piece which is just a ring holds everything on so uh, what I'm going to do is use this as a as a template to trace the hole that I need to cut and I do that by tracing just inside this lip here uh, with the thing pressed against the wall then these windows are cool in that they have they only they don't require any clearance um, to seal so I've got just a tiny piece of quarter inch sheet metal that that's going to be sandwiched right here between the gasket and the front piece and then it'll cinch in and compress and that will create the, the well, hopefully watertight seal you can see the the line that I traced which is just this ring pressed up against the place where the window is going to go and then tracing inside the ring as close to this little corner as possible so I'm going to be cutting just along that line or out just outside that line uh, get the metal out and then uh, use a grinder to fix any pieces, any parts where it doesn't necessarily line up well. The main tools that I'm using for this job are my angle grinder, which is going to be used mostly for the straight pieces because it's got a big, big cutting wheel on it. And then for those those corner curves, I found that the Dremel works really well. These discs are extremely fragile, so you got to go really slow, but this does a, lot, a much better job of making that curve without uh, overcutting or uh, creating rough edges. So we start with this one, get as, 
as much of the line cut with it as possible and then switch to the Dremel. Okay, so the vertical lines are cut. Um, now it's time for the Dremel to come in and do these curves. Um, and it's gonna take a lot of time. You gotta kinda do multiple passes in order to do it. And you gotta be really careful about not skewing this Dremel head because they, they break very easily. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I got one in, cut a second hole, and I test fit it with this window. Uh, and then I put a little bit of rust reformer on a couple of spots where I, I ripped the paint. Uh, so I'm going to kind of let that dry and then pop this guy in, hopefully before the sun goes too far down caulk around the inside and seal it up. Okay, so on the back side I had Julene just kind of put pressure on them this way and then I put the ring in and screwed in all around after I put in some, you can see it, some of the polyurethane sealant all the way around on the inside. On the outside there's a gasket, so should be watertight, I hope. That's it. It's all the windows for the back. I have to insulate around them to prevent condensation and uh, can start building out the walls. Windows! Windows! Okay, so I cut a hole for the last window and you'll notice there's a piece of plywood there. It's because that's for the bathroom and the bathroom is pretty much already finished. This window was a little bit of an afterthought. I think I was going to do it, but I didn't know when or how and got impatient. So I cut a hole or I drilled a hole in the plywood and I'm going to use my jigsaw on the other side to kind of cut a rough version of this uh, hole on the inside. and. Uh, then I will put the window in and uh, try to make it uh, match the inside hole, match the shape of the outside hole. So I cut a rough version of the window and I've traced about where I think the, uh, I used this trim piece to trace about where I think the edge of the window is going to be if it was a straight shot to the outside. Um, this is about three, three and a half inches, so uh, the window that I have, the trim is not going to fit, so I'm going to have to trim out the inside. And I'm going to try to make it curve, but if not, I can always create a kind of window frame or a picture frame style uh, trim around the outside. But we'll see how this looks first. I need a grinder wheel, not a cutter wheel. What are you doing today? Installing the last window in the bus, which is the bathroom window. Okay, so the bathroom window is in. It is uh, ugly on the inside, so I'll clean this up a little bit later, but uh, that's basically it. I did some experiments uh, with the windows. Over here, we haven't done anything yet. Um, and so over here, I cut two pieces of plywood that uh, just covered the windows, and then I used my jigsaw to cut out just a square around the outside and I'm going to do something to make the trim look real nice around these. Uh, so it's a rough cut 
but it'll be covered up with nice trim. Basically what I did is just built a little box that fits into the holes. I had to cut this one a bit bigger so that the box would actually fit, but uh, it just it's kind of loose in there. And so the plan is I'll insert the box and then put trim around the outside uh, so it looks nice. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably actually going to use some leftover pieces from my uh, from my ceiling. I'm going to cut them real nice so it'll be this knotty pine. I'm just going to cut some nice frame around the outside and it'll glue on to there and it'll look good. Um, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. I take my box, I hold it up and I kind of eyeball how it's supposed to be. Then I trace around the outside and now I'm going to take my jigsaw and cut along the line that I just traced. Okay, this window in the bathroom got royally messed up. Uh, I was trying to cut it to the curve uh, without being able to see the window on the other side so I had to do it in pieces. And you can see my trace line where I want my frame to go now that I've decided that it's a better way to go. And you can see just how much I've like kind of gone over the edge. But it shouldn't matter in the end because I'm going to be putting trim around the outside to kind of clean everything up. Um, so I'm going to cut this one now and we'll see if we can fix this. All right, so you can kind of see the part that I cut out just now. See that square? You can also see where there's a gap where my square goes, just doesn't go far enough. But cut back some of the insulation. Now I'm going to put the box in and see how that looks. It's quite a difference. Uh, looks nice and clean on the inside. And uh, I think that I can just put some trim over this and hide these terrible, terrible cuts before I knew better. Okay, I got all the frames in. Uh, they're just sitting in there temporarily. But uh, now I'm doing something else uh, to kind of clean everything up. There are some spots where the wood, where the, the wood is married together, it's just kind of, uh, there's a lip. So like over here, it was really bad. And so I've attached another piece of plywood to the back. You can see it's a three quarter inch piece of plywood, um, which is glued in place and screwed in place to help marry those boards together. And I'm going to go around and be doing that like here, there, um, and a couple other spots over here just to make the, the boards marry a little bit better. So yeah, like here's a bad spot. So uh, do that and then insulation and then uh, paint. I've got uh, some of this insulation left over from insulating the rest of the bus. Uh, it's radiant on one side and it's made out of denim, recycled denim on the other and uh, works really well. Uh, so I am putting it kind of into a couple of spots here, trying not to compress it too much because it, it works better if it's not compressed. And then I've also got, this is really thick sound resistant or sound absorbing foam super expensive stuff that i've had for a really long time i used it for a project a long time ago uh it was kind of like plugs for windows to prevent uh noise from my band getting out uh and it works really really well uh so i'm using this too it's just super dense foam and kind of putting it into the sides here and who knows maybe it'll also help with sound stuff. So this one's ready to go. Just going to, I don't know if I can do this one handed, but just push the frame back into place. And there we go. So very nicely insulated around that window 
going to do the same around this one. That one, this one doesn't really have room around the frame to insulate, but uh, it's insulated in all these other spaces around. So, yeah, just adding insulation. Okay, now that insulation has gone in around the voids, around these frames, I have started to uh, liquid nails them into place. I don't want nails here because this is going to be visible. And if possible, I think I want to kind of keep the wood look as a contrast to the paint that's going to be around it. So today we spent some time and did some paint in here. Um, as you can see, it's still pretty rough around the edges of these uh, window frames. So I'm going to be putting in some nice trim around the outside of them. But otherwise, this room is looking pretty good. Got to do a little bit of trim up there. But yeah, this is the back room. It's looking close to finish now, other than the floor. For the frames, I'm using pieces left over from my ceiling. So they're thin, uh, easy to stain, easy to cut, and I have them on hand. So uh, I am right now cutting them into strips. Each one will be an inch and a half wide so that uh, it can go on either side of a window frame. So I've cut off one edge here of these guys, going to do these guys, and then one and a half inches, one and a half inches. Okay, so I've got them cut into strips, one and a half inches wide. Um, these are the long edge, this is the short edge. Now I need to cut the corners so that they fit together like a nice pretty window frame. Okay, so I've got my miter saw turned at a 45 degree angle to cut all the corners. 45 plus 45 is 90 uh, and it makes this so uh, I mean I could put this together a little bit better but um, I went and held it up in the window frame and everything looked good so that will be my frame. Dreen is helping me put the frames on the windows. I've got some treated pieces here that were already cut and stained and now we're just Putting them in around the frame, hide all the imperfections. Okay, so all of the frames are on. Uh, it's time to take the tape off and see how these look. All right, so these are the windows. It's just that that thin pine material that's been shellacked and cut to be kind of like a uh, picture frame put around the windows, and uh, it covers up any kind of imperfections around there. As you can also see, there's a bed here, um, but I'm gonna be covering that in a future video. Uh, so it all looks good, and in the bathroom, where remember there was that really ugly cut on the left-hand side, uh, you can't even tell that was ever a problem. You can't even tell that I'm terrible at using a jigsaw, so. Uh, I think this is a winning strategy, and I like the design. And of course all the windows are accessible and they can be opened up really easily and um, looks good. I'm actually going to be using this windowsill to hold some like small toiletries and stuff too, so it's great.